Hi! In this video, we'll be talking about the PyDoc HTML reports, which can be used to read documentation in a more visual way than just reading the output of the help function. By the way, if you want to watch a video on the help function, I have one, so go for it. Back to the PyDoc HTML reports. The reports can be read in a web browser. To start off, you have to start a local server. You can do it in the console or command line using the following command pydoc-b. This starts the local server and opens the web browser where you can view the documentation. So let's launch the reports. Open the console and type the following python-m pydoc-b the dash "-m command line argument is there to locate the PyDocs module on your module import search path. Now, as soon as you press Enter, the server is started and the documentation page is open in the browser. If it doesn't work for you, there may be several reasons. Try the Windows Launcher instead by typing py-m pydoc-b. If this doesn't work either, type the full path of where your Python is installed, followed by the PyDoc command. If you want to learn more about the different options and see how to solve the problems with using the Python interpreter, I have a video on that, so feel free to watch it. Now, if all works fine, you should see the web page with the documentation. You can use the links to search documentation for the modules, for the keywords, or to read documentation by topic. You can also use the two input fields at the top, here and here. If you need help on a specific module, type its name in the get field. Type random here and hit get and here you get help on random. If you want to search for related topics, use the search field. For example, type tkinder and hit search. Here you can see the results that have been returned. When done with the reports, you can close the browser and just hit Q to quit. Server stopped. And just one more thing, you can also save a module's HTML documentation to file, so that you can view it offline whenever you want to. For example, to save the documentation for the random module, use the following syntax in your console. python-m pydoc-w random wrote random.html. This has saved the documentation as random.html. Now we can open the file and read the documentation. Here's our random HTML file. We can now open it and read the documentation offline. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.